Welcome back to this channel. Now, in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about arithmetic progression. In a previous video, we did talk about the arithmetic progression, but that was just the introduction. So today we are going to talk about the how to find the nth term of the arithmetic series or the arithmetic progression and how to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series or an arithmetic progression. Let's start with finding the nth term of the arithmetic progression. Now, the nth term of an arithmetic series is given by this formula. E plus e minus one times b, e, where e is the first term between the two, and b is the fourth term difference that we talked about in the previous video. We said we obtain the common difference by just subtracting the we obtain the common difference by subtracting the former from the current and the previous the current item is used to get the common difference. So here this is the formula for finding the nth term of an arithmetic series. So when we have an arithmetic series that we want to find the nth term or a particular term of the arithmetic series. This is the formula that we use. Now let's look at an example. This arithmetic series. Seven, eleven, plus fifteen, and so on. We are supposed to find the nth term of the follow uh, of the of this arithmetic series. Now here we have seven plus eleven plus fifteen and so on. So let's start by finding the first term. The first term is just the first number in the what in the arithmetic what series. Here is the what is the number seven. This represents the what the first term. This is the second term, the third term, and so on. So to find the nth term, we just have to add, write down our parameters. We are going to need our what our first term and our common difference. Now here, first term, what is a is this number seven. Our common difference there was the previous. You can take any two terms here. You can either take eleven and fifteen or seven and eleven. Now let's take both. Uh, let's work with both ways and see how it's going to go. Now let's take eleven and seven. So between eleven and seven. 7 is the previous and 11 is what the current. So you can say that the common difference is 7 minus what? Sorry, 11 minus 7, which is the same as when we take this and this, the same as what? 15 minus 11. And this is going to give us what? 4, right? 11 minus 7 is 4 and 15 minus 11 is 4. So that's the common difference. We know that our nth term, we sub n, is equal to what? A plus n minus 1 times d. So u sub n equals, our first term is what? 7 plus n minus 1. Now our common difference is what? 4. When we simplify this, we are going to have 7 plus 4n minus 4. So at the end of the day, the nth term is going to be 4n plus what plus three so this is what the nth term of this of this series all right so let's take another example let's consider this series negative two negative four negative six negative eight and so on we are supposed to find the nth term of this particular series. So, like we did for the first one, we just have to come out with our first term. And obviously, 
our a, which is the first term, is equal to what? Negative 2. That was our common difference. Our d is equal to negative 4 minus negative 2. Which was what? Negative what? 2. That's more or less like negative 4 plus 2. Also, we can take negative 6 and negative 4. One difference would be the same. Because negative 6 minus minus 4. It's negative 6 plus 4, which will give us a common difference of negative 2. So, having our common difference on our first term, just place them into the formula for finding the nth term. So our un equals a plus n minus 1, multiplying d. So u sub n equals our a is what? Negative 2 here plus n minus 1 times our common difference here is what? Negative 2. When we simplify this, you are going to have negative 2 minus 2n plus 2. So our m term is simply going to be equal to negative 2n. So if after finding the n term, if you want to find out that what you have or the formula for the n term that you are having is right, you can just substitute the values for the position of the terms and see if you are going to get those terms. So here, this is the first term. So its position is one. Its position is one. Here, the position is two. Here is three. Here is four, and so on. So if I want to find a fourth term, which is the third term, which is six, my n is going to be what equal to three, because its position is three. So u three will be equal to negative two times three. So I'm going to have what negative two times three is what negative six. That's what we have over here. If I want, let's say, my fourth term, which is eight, negative 8, then u4 equals to negative 2, multiplying by n equals to what? Negative 8. So that's how we find our, what? Find the nth term of what? Uh, an arithmetic series. All right. Now let's move on to how to find the sum of an arithmetic what? Use. So the general form or the general formula for the sum of the n of the first n term n terms of an arithmetic series is given by the formula. The general formula is given by n multiplying. 2a plus n minus 1 d, or in a big bracket, where our a is still our first term, our d is still our, our common difference. This is how we find the, what, the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic series, sorry, series, arithmetic series. All right, now let's try an example on this. Play everything. So I have an example here. We are saying that to find the sum of the first 20 terms of the series n plus 6 plus 2 minus 2 minus 6 and so on. So this is the question. You are supposed to find a what? The first 20 terms of this series. Now, from the question, or from this series, we can write out our what, our first term and our common difference. Obviously, our inspection, our A is going to be at 10, because this is the first term. And our common difference is going to be the first. You can take any current and subtract the previous from it. So here I can say, B equals 6 minus 10, G equals what? Negative 4. So I have my A and I have my D. Don't forget that you, we are finding the sum of the first 20 terms. So your N is what? 20. The formula, the general formula is S sometimes equals N over D brackets E plus N minus 1. This is the general formula. So we have everything that we need here in 
just plug it into the formula. So S, the sum of what? S20 going to be equal to we have our n, which is what? 20. So 20 over 2 multiplying 2a. A is what? 10 plus n is what? 20 minus 1 times our common difference, which is what? Negative. Let me, let me write it well. Negative 4, right? Multiplying negative 4 like this. Here. Yeah. Our S20 is going to give us 10 into bracket. So multiplying 10 is 20. And we have 20 minus 1, which is 19. So 19 multiplying negative what? 4. And so when you compute this, you are going to have negative 500 and what? 60 as our final answer. So the, the sum of the first 20 terms of this arithmetic series is what? Negative 560. And try. So let's try another example here. Let's try another example. At this time, okay, let's try this example. Yeah, we are saying that if the seventh term of an AP is 22 and the twelfth term is 37, find the sum of the first 30 terms. The example or the question is if the seventh term of an AP is 22, you Fourth term, u plus four plus Find the sum of the first thirty ten. So the question is sum of first thirty terms. So this is the information that we have. These are the only information that we have. We have the seventh term. Giving us 22 and the 12 term giving us 37. And we shouldn't forget that we know the general formula for our, for our nth term. We know that u sub n equal to what a plus n minus 1 times d. Right? So here, let's focus on the, the seventh term. So if we want to write u7 over here, then Obviously, our n is going to be what? 7. So I can say u7 equals, or u sub 7 equals a plus n, which is 7. So here is 7 minus 1 times the common difference. We still don't know. This is supposed to give us what? 22. So if I rewrite this well, I'm going to have a 7 minus 1 is 6, so plus 6 times the common difference is going to what? Be equal to 22. This can give us our equation 1. The same manner, for u12 equals e plus 12 minus 1 times e. That, that's giving us 37. Right? So we can write this as a plus 11d equals what? 37. That's what our equation is. So we now have equations 1 and 2. We can solve them simultaneously to get our first term and our and our common. When we simultaneously solve these two equations, we are going to have our e for our first term as for our common difference. So what? As three. Right. So now we know our first term and we know our common difference. And the question. Asking us to find the sum of the first what 30 terms. So I can say that I'm at my n is equal to what 30. So this is the formula for finding the sum of the first n, n terms of one on arithmetic series. So s sub n equals n or 2 multiply 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Right. So I have everything here. 
I have my A, I have my D, and I have my N. So S30, I know my M already. So S30 equals 30 over 2, multiplying 2 times A, which is what? 4 plus N plus 30 minus 1 times the common difference, which is what? 3. My S30 is going to be equal to 15, 2 times 4 is what? 8 plus 29 multiplying 3. So if we compute this on the calculator, we are going to have our sum of the first 30 terms to be equal to 1425. This is going to be our, our final answer. Let's try another example. The system of an AP is negative 5. You can pause the video and try this one. The system of an AP is negative 5 and the 10th term, tenth term is negative 21. Find the sum of the first 30 terms. You can pause the video and try this one or this one on your own. The fifth term of an AP is negative 5. So you use 6. Negative in the same term is negative 21. So u of 10 equals to negative 21. We're supposed to find the sum of the first 30 term. Sum of first 30 term. So just like the one that we just solved, we follow the same approach. So I know that u sub n, I general formula the nth term of an arithmetic series is a e plus n minus 1 times e. So if I want my u6, it's simply going to be a plus 6 minus 1 times e, and that's supposed to be equal to what? Negative 5. So here we can have e plus 5d equals negative 5. This will be our equation one. In a similar manner, at the end of the day, we are going to have e plus 9d equals negative 21. For the second part, solving this simultaneously, e is going to be equal to what? 15, and our d is going to be equal to negative 4. So having our first term and our common difference, and we want the sum of the first 30 terms. So our n2 is equal to 30. We can quote our formula and start doing our substitution. Find our answer. So s sub n is equal to what? n over 2 multiplying 2a plus n minus 1 times n. This is our formula. So s30 we are substituting because 30 over 2 multiplying 2 e our a is what 15 that's our first term plus our n is what 30 minus 1 times the common difference which was what negative 4 our s 30 is going to be 15 multiplying 2 times 15 which is 30 plus 29 multiplying negative 4 if you launch this we are going to have negative 1 2 9 0 as our final answer. So it's just simple. You just have to understand what you are doing and you are good to do. All right, let's try the final example. Then we say goodbye to this video. All right, so this is a final example. Again, you can pause the video and try your hands on it. We are supposed to find an expression for the nth term of the se sequence. We are given a sequence and we are supposed to find the nth term for this sequence. We have negative 2, 4, 10, 16, and so on. So this is the sequence that we've been given, and we are supposed to so uh, we are supposed to find the nth term of this sequence. And after that, we use this formula to find the 15th term of the sequence and the sum of the first 15 terms. So this is basically 3. We are supposed to find the nth term, use this to find the 15th term. We also are supposed to find the sum of the first 
15 times. So let's start with finding the nth term for this sequence. So this is what obviously an sequence. So our first term is going to be equal to negative two. Our common difference is going to be what four minus minus two is going to give us what six and say 16 minus 10. So we also give you 6, 10 minus 4, so we also give you 6. So that, that is going to confirm that this is what an arithmetic right? So we know our first term and our what, common difference. The next thing that we are going to do is to find the nth term. That's the first part of the question. So let's say E, we are finding the nth term. This is the formula for finding the nth term. You sub n equals E plus n minus 1 times D. U sub n will be equal to our first term is negative 2 plus n minus 1 times one difference, which is 6. So U sub n will be equal to negative 2 plus 6n minus what? 6. So U sub n will be equal to what? 6n minus 8. So we are done with the first part, right? We are done finding the nth term of the what? Of the sequence. The next term. Or the, the B part, or the next part of the question is asking us to find the 15th term, 15th term using this formula. So we know our formula from above that u sub n equals 6 n minus what? 8. That's supposed to find the 15th term. For the 15th term, n is equal to what? 15. So u 15 will be equal to 6 times n, which is what? 15 minus 8. And when we compute this, we are going to have what? 15 cent. That's u sub 15 is what? 82. Right. So we used in the A part, we used the sequence to find the what? The formula or the formula for the nth term. And we use that formula to find the 15th term in the what? In the sequence. Okay, let's consider the last part. The last part is asking us to use this same sequence to find the what is to find the first 15 terms. So we have everything to so see. For a, you know, it to be negative 2 already. Our d is 6. Yeah, first 15 terms. So our n is going to be what? 15. General formula Sn equals n over 2 multiplying 2a plus n minus 1. Common difference. Our S15 is going to be 15 over 2, multiplying 2 times A, which is negative 2, plus 15 minus 1, multiplying common difference, which is what? 6. Right. So our S15 is going to be, when we compute this, when we punch this on the calculator, we are going to have 600 as our final answer. So that is that for the arithmetic series. In the next video, we are going to talk about the geometric series. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.